Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at something a little unusual and from the title you can probably figure what this out yeah, what this is. This is a folding scalpel and it came in this tin. It has extra scalpel blades. Put that over there. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is small, very compact, not particularly thick or wide. It is a slip joint. Um, and you, it does require a two-hand handed open. Though the, this, the um, holder for the scalpel blade itself acts as your nail nick. And there you go. It's a, just very simple, elegant. I really, I find this aesthetically pleasing. I like this very roomy lanyard hole, obviously designed for like a keychain or something like that. Um, and I have, I actually have carried knives up to, up to this size. The fact that the knife I used to carry for a long time was a, had a design where the blade would come out out the front. Um, and it was uh, one that like, style that my grandfather had, had, had carried as well. And, uh, but this would make a great little keychain knife and that's very, um, large you could get paracord through there without any difficulty and i also find it um aesthetically attractive i like the shape i like the triangular shape and this the, the angles here are preserved and i like the way that looks as well um so yeah so there's i mean it's a scalpel it's pretty straightforward um hold on a second i can tell what size scalpel this i don't remember off the top of my head okay give me a second it's 24 it is a 24 blade for this particular, I should probably, I could probably look at the package. That would probably also have the number. This is a very light knife. Let me get this in here. Make sure that's centered. Thirty-four grams. That's not much weight at all. Um, and again, I said it's a slip joint, and it has a nice action though. Very positive, chunk, and then. Right down there, and the uh, the the uh, blade is completely uh, completely covered. Now, when if, you, if you do this, you will feel something. There's a little transition, and you're not feeling the tip. What you're feeling is the beginning of that little slope right there. So the first time I did it, I closed it and I ran my finger. I'm like, Am I feeling the tip of the knife? I'm not feeling the tip of the knife. The the tip of the blade is below the surface, so you're not going to touch it. You on my finger came into contact with that little angular transition. So. So my, my first initial thought was I was afraid that the, that the scalpel tip was actually sticking out. It isn't. And, well, I haven't done it because um, I don't need to. I carry a, knives with pocket clips. But I would feel quite comfortable just dumping, dumping this into a pocket and carrying it because it is just, it is very small and very convenient. Now, the problem is, is that as, as, as elegant and light and sleek as this is, people might get slightly freaked out if you reached into your pocket and you opened up a scalpel because scalpels have an undeniable connection to the medical field. So they're like, why are you carrying a scalpel? Um, I am, by the way, as you can see, it's very easy to choke up on this, though I wouldn't want to be putting a lot of pressure on this because the back of a scalpel is not very thick. Um, and that could probably hurt your finger if you put too much pressure on it because real mean scalpels are meant for delicate cutting. They're not meant for reefing on things. Scalpel blades are not meant for heavy duty um, cutting. But it is a nice little K way of carrying a very sharp knife with you that you don't have to sharpen. You can just replace the blade. Um, and it, you know, if you're doing any, any, uh, any crafting, this might be the type of knife that was convenient to you because it's uh, a shape that's, that's uh, usable, got some nice belly on it, um, sharp, and uh, easily replaced. Now, speaking of replacement, I know people are going to go, how do you replace the blade? Well, um, to do it properly, you're nearly going to need something to grab the blade with. So here we go, and I'm using actual medical uh, medical tools. So you come in, pull, pick it up, and then we go, and we go, get it loose. Here we go. So what you're doing is that the blade actually sits in this slot right there, right there like that. So the blade's sitting in there, so it's definitely very secure when it's installed. So you're going to come in, you're going to do the opposite. Sorry, I'm doing this at a distance. There we go. Because you can see the slot is wider at the bottom. So it comes in here, like 
that. Push it all the way down, and then I'm not going to push it in with my, too far up my fingers because I don't want to get hurt. Come on, you can do it. I did, it early. I did this earlier. I practiced earlier. Come on. There we go. Okay. And you notice that the slope of the blade and the slope of the knife match up, so you know you have it facing in the right direction. I do not do this for a living. If you do this for a living, you'd be much smoother at it. Uh, the video I watched on YouTube was done by a medical professional, and they did it in one smooth motion because they do it for a living and I don't. Um, but I thought it would be appropriate to use actual medical tools, which I actually have to do a video of. I haven't done that. I have a collection of medical tools, which I do want to talk about on camera. But, um, so, if you have ever felt a need for a scalpel in your pocket at any time, here you go. You may get weird looks, but it's good for crafting and light cutting duties, opening letters, maybe peeling an orange, things like that. Wouldn't want to do food prep with it because it's not really meant for that, but it would peel an orange quite successfully. Um, and because it's a slip joint and it takes two hands and it is not locking, it would actually be legal in quite a few places. And it also isn't very big, so it's not intimidating in size. So there you go. Uh, came with again, came with a tin. Came with some uh, spare scalpel blades. Sterile scalpel blade. Well, it's sterile in here. As soon as you put it in this, or put it in your pocket, it is no longer sterile. It is no longer sterile. Um, but at least going in, it is. So there you go. Nice little tool. Handy, convenient, and if a little on the unusual side.